McGrath and I'm here to bring you a quick 30 minute bar workout. So for this workout today, you do not need a bar. Okay, so don't be overwhelmed when you see that there, you do not need it. If you have a chair, a couch, a wall, whatever, any of those kind of things that you can use to balance on, or maybe you don't even need to balance, it's totally up to you. You may be able to do this entire workout without a bar. The next thing you're gonna need is a set of weights. So if you don't have a set of weights, feel free to grab a wine bottle, a water bottle, a can of soup, anything that has a little bit of weight to it. All right, so we're gonna get started. And I want you to just really think about tuning into your body for the next half an hour. We're gonna to start to tune out the world and we're gonna tune into what's happening within our body, within our minds, within our souls. So take a moment to close your eyes, taking a big shoulder roll up and back. Letting your hands just rest beside your body. Just shake your hands, wiggle your toes. Big breath in through your nose. Fill your belly. Big exhale out through the mouth. Feel the belly fall. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. What do you want out of this time? To come back to your center, your home, to find more gratitude, find more patience, love, light, whatever that intention might be for you. Just breathe in. Let it fill your whole entire body, and exhale, let it go. All right, have an amazing practice, allowing your attention to come to the forefront of your mind. Anytime you find your mind wandering, just bring it back to that intention. All right, here we go. Big shoulder roll. We're gonna bring your hands to your hips, belly button locks to your spine. We're just gonna warm up by marching right and left. Right, left, good. Squeezing your core marching up and down. The point here is to start to elevate your heart rate. Good. Keep going. You got eight, seven, six, four. Squeezing your core. Good. Reach your arms out to the side. Hold here. Six, five, four. Good. Now we're going to start to twist. Bring your left elbow to your right knee and switch and switch. Good. And in. In. Get four more. Four, three, two, one. Arms to goal post. Keep marching. Good. Five. In four, three, two. We're going to squat and reach. Get low. Reach forward. Pull it in. Down. Up. Breathe. Four more. Four, three, last two. Sink low and hold. Little down, little up. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. For eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Exhale, fold forward. Grab onto opposite elbows. Drop your head. Sway side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Squeeze your shoulders. Exhale, point your hands to the mat. Step back, high plank. Okay, so you'll be lengthwise on your mat, just for demonstration purposes. I'm facing this way. Drop your right hip, left hip. Right, left, you got four, three, two, one. Find your downward dog. I'm just gonna rotate on my mat, you guys stay where you are. Hips to sky, gaze to your knee. The right leg lifts up high. Squeeze your core. Right foot between your hands. Finding a long runner's lunge, we'll pulse down for eight, seven, five, just breathe, three, two, pyramid stretch, straighten both your legs and fold. Getting a nice stretch along the whole back side of your right leg. Good. Left foot meets right, right foot shoots back, find a long runner's lunge, pulse the hips, seven, breathe, last two. Last one, extend both legs, hold your body over top of your left leg. Walk your hands over to the right, finding a wide-legged forward fold on your mat. Good. Drop your head, feel your breath, and then slowly make your way all the way up to standing, rolling one vertebrae at a time, shoulders up and back. All right, grab your weights, we don't have time for resting. We only have 30 minutes, so give it your all, give it your best. 
big shoulder roll up and back. Those weights, water bottles, wine bottles, whatever you've got are in hand. If you don't have weights, just do these motions with up the weight, no problem. We're gonna come up and down, just working that bicep curl, squeezing your core, lift and lower. If you wanna add a little more spice, add a calf raise. Seven. Three, two, good. Come up halfway, drop your heels if you are lifting. Little pulses up and down. Squeeze, squeeze. Fingers are light, so no death grips here. Four, three, to your shoulders down halfway. Come up and down. Squeeze, release. Check in with your breath. Four. Feel the movement come from your bicep, not your joint. Good, that's how we isolate the muscle. Last one. Good, hold and center, bring it out to the side and in. Out and in. Good. Six, five, four, and you got it. Last one, out and hold. We're moving into W presses. Press out, pull it in. Press it out, pull it in. Keep your core engaged the whole time. It's really easy to let your spine flop, especially when you're getting tired, fatigued in a muscle. Your posture is one of the first things to go and that's the most important thing. Two point, four more. Three, two, out and hold. Little pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, tap your pinkies and open in, and out. You got four more. Three, two, in and hold. Draw circles to the top, to the bottom, top and bottom. You got eight, seven, six, five, two. Flip your palms down to the floor. Hold. Circle up for eight, seven, six, four. Circle back in. You got eight, seven, six, four, and three, two, drop, lateral raise down, and up, and down, up, squeeze your core, bend your knees slightly, you got four more, three, two, last one, bring your arms all the way back behind you, I'll just turn this way so you can see, your arms are straight, we're pulsing up, up, slight bend to your knees, squeeze your core, good, your shoulder blades for eight, seven, five, three, two, thumbs tap each other, bring it in, seven, six, five, three, and two, up for four, in for four, we got four, three, two, bring it in for four, three, two, two and one, two, up, in, Two, one and one, come up, in, up, in. Good, for eight, seven, five, four, three, two, that's it, that's all. Big shoulder roll, drop your weights, and we'll keep powering through. So I just wanna take a quick moment to talk about the pelvic tuck, it's so important, especially in bar class. We wanna protect the lower spine by activating our core and tucking our pelvis under. This is so good for stabilizing all the muscles between your hips. Okay, so one good, really good exercise, take a hand, place it on your belly, hand on your spine. Okay, now I want you to arch your back really big. And notice how probably not very comfortable that is, right? But you can feel that your hands are on an angle like so. I want you to tuck your tailbone under, bend your knees slightly, and then keep tucking until your hands are parallel to each other. Okay, so we don't want any slants, we wanna be upright. Okay, so think about that tuck with everything we do with our squats, with our core engagement, with our arm stuff, with every single move that we do in this practice, that pelvic tuck's really gonna help you out. Okay, let's move on. Find your chair or your couch or your wall, and then we're gonna come and find a first position. So first position is when you glue your heels together tight. Now take one fist, place it between your two big toes. Flick a small, mini-sized piece of pizza that you want to eat, like 10 of, OK? 
okay? That's what we're looking at between the feet. So squeeze those heels, squeeze your core, rise up, releve, and stay high on your toes. We're gonna squeeze, activate that core. You're just gonna bend your knees and extend your knees. Bend, extend. Now your hand that's not on the chair or wall can come onto your hip. Down and up, drop and squeeze. Squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your thighs. You got this. You got three, two, sink low, hold here. Little pulses down and up, down, down. Good, now you don't have to dance your hand all around. I just, I like to talk with my hands, so my hands are always flailing. But you don't have to follow that. Your hand can stay right here. Little tiny pulses down and up. Good. I hope you got some good jams on at home. Some good tunes to keep you pumping. Breathe. Down and up. Down and up. I always love to know what favorite songs people like to listen. So feel free to comment below and let us know what you like. Breathe. Four. Three. Yes, you should feel this burn in your quads. We're gonna flush this out down and up. Drop and lift. Bend, extend. You're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. Tuck the pelvis under. Drop and lift. Down, up. Good. We got four more. Four and three, two. We're gonna do a little combo. Calf raise and plie. Drop the heels, rise, plie. So drop, lift, bend, extend, keep going. Drop, lift, bend, extend. Drop, lift, bend. Good, four more. Four, down, up, three, down, two more, three. Last one. All right guys, take a quad stretch. So just placing one hand in your one foot in your hand. Press your right foot into your right hand. Get a nice good stretch in the hip flexor and the quad. And switch sides. So you work both legs there. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna stay where you are. Whichever leg is the furthest away from your wall or chair, point it out to the side. This is side line. We're working the whole entire side of the leg. All right. Slight bend to your standing leg. All four corners of your foot are grounded down. Point your toes to the working leg. We're gonna lift and tap. Lift and tap. Squeezing your core, staying tall. And tap. Lift and tap. Good. It doesn't matter how high you lift your leg. I just want you to think of activating the muscles to lift the leg. You got four, three, two, up and pulse. Seven, six, five, three, two. We're gonna circle forward here for eight. Seven, six, four, three, two. Circle back. You got eight. Seven, five, three, two. You should be burning. Up and pulse. Seven, six, five. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, two, flex your toes, pulse, up, up. Press through your heel, four, two, and last one. Good, take a figure four stretch, crossing your working leg over the standing leg. Get deep into that glute, the side hip, all of these muscles that we're working. Take any muscles, stretches that you need, shimmy shuffle it out. We're gonna switch sides. So just turning around to face the opposite direction, or if you have a chair that's easy to move, like my handy little bar here, we'll just move that to the other side. All right, so once you've got yourself set up in position, ground through the standing leg, point the working leg out to the side, get nice and long, nice and tall through the spine, tuck the tailbone under. We're gonna lift and tap, lift, Good. Again, don't worry about how high you lift. It's just about engaging the muscle. You might find one side very different than the other. That's okay. It's just how our alignment is 
It gives you some more insight and awareness to what parts of your body you need to work on, especially with stretching. So if you find one side's a lot tighter than the other, bringing awareness to stretch that side a little bit more. Lift it up and let's pulse. Squeeze. Squeeze the core. Keep pulsing. Up and up. You got eight, seven, six, four, two. Circle forward for eight, seven, keep breathing. Four, two. Circle back. You got eight, seven, five, three, two. Center, pulse it up. Squeeze. Think about those muscles all on the sideline of your body. Four, three, and two. Flex your foot. Keep pulsing. Up, up, up. Four, three, last two, last one. Take your figure four. Crossing that working leg over your standing leg thigh. Sink into it. Use your chair or the wall to support you here. All right, you guys are doing so good. We're gonna do one more standing exercise and then we'll hit the floor. So we're gonna do a wide second position. So you wanna step nice and wide, wider than your hip. You really think about squeezing through your core here after doing that pelvic tuck. We're gonna bend the knees and keep your shoulders stacked on your hips. Knees are stacked on your ankles. Knees are pointing over your big toe and second toe. Hands can come to your hips or one hand to the wall or chair. We're gonna come down an inch, up an inch. Feel your breath. You got eight, six, four. Inner thighs, that's where we're activating, right here. Keep going. Down, up, three, two, full plie. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Keep going, drop and rise. Drop, rise, you got four, three, we're gonna go down for three, up for one. Drop three, two, one, and rise. Three, two, drop, and lift. Two more, up, down, down, up. Last one, down, down. One and three, go down, rise. Two, drop, drop, rise, breathe. Drop down, three, two, Last one, drop. Three, two, halfway down and pulse. Down, think about that pelvic tuck, squeeze your core, and down, 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 and four, three, flesh this out, drop and lift, drop down, and up, down, up, four, three, last two, Last one, good job. Point your toes forward, activate your core. Exhale, fold, touch the floor. Feel a nice good stretch here. You can move your bar, your chair, whatever you have, just move it out of the way here. We're gonna hit the floor when you're done stretching. So I'll meet you down there. And right away we're gonna start activating the core. So, lying on your back. Hands come behind your head. You're gonna lift and lower and squeeze. Elbows are out to the side. Think about pressing your tailbone into the mat the whole time. Squeeze and down. You got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, up and pulse, squeeze. So this workout is a full body workout. Everything is being touched on and worked. Squeeze, little pulses, keep going. And three and two, bring your legs to tabletop. Regular crunch, just lift and lower. Toes are flexed. We're gonna add a hip lift with the shoulder lift. So you lift your hips and shoulders, drop it down, getting that lower core. Lift and drop. Got four, three, two, and one. Good, lower down. Stay in that tabletop shape. We're gonna move into bicycles, left elbow, right knee, and switch, 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 switch. Keep breathing. 
breathing. You got eight, seven, four, three, two. You can go as fast as you can. For eight, seven, six, squeeze, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees to your chest. Roll side to side. Awesome job, guys. All right, extend your legs to the sky. Hands come underneath your hips. Point your toes. We're lowering one leg at a time. Right leg down for two, up for two. Let's go. Drop, two. We're gonna stay on the right side, so you're coming down. And up. And down. Up. Drop. Two. Last one. Switching sides. Drop the left. And up. Nice and controlled. Point your toes. By pointing your toes, you're activating all the muscles in your legs. Drop for two. And up for two. Keep going. Down. And up. And down. Up. Two more. Last one. Now we alternate the legs. Right, left. Go right, left. Right, left. If you want more, lift your shoulders down. Down. You got eight, seven, four, two, and one. Hug your knees to your chest. Big breath in, come back to that intention you set for yourself at the start of our practice, and then rock and roll yourself all the way up. We're gonna work some more legs. So find yourself in a tabletop position. Squeezing your belly button to your spine. Let's start with our left leg, pointing your left toes back. So your shoulders are stacked on your wrists, knees are stacked underneath your hips. Extending your left leg back, gaze down to the top of your mat. You're just gonna lift the left leg, tap it down. Lift and tap. Lift, tap. Squeeze your core for eight, seven, five, four. You wanna make sure both hips stay in one line. Up and pulse. You got eight, seven, five, and two. One, bend your knee, extend, bend, extend. Four more, four, three, two. Okay, bend your knee, hold it here. Pulse your toes to the sky. We're working that area where your glute meets your hamstring. Four, three, two, one. Extend the leg, hold, just static hold. Pulse it, eight, seven, Six, four, two, lift and tap. We lift, we tap, lift, tap. Just four, three, two, last one, good. Find yourself back to the tabletop and just sway your hips right to left. Get any stretch you need to get here. Maybe round your spine, taking a cat-cow, finding your breath. All right, guys, let's keep going. You're doing so great. Right side, extend that right leg back, point your toes, nice strong back. We lift and tap, lift, tap. Four, last two, up and pulse. Squeezing the glute, lifting the leg. Bend, extend the knee right here. Bend, extend, bend. Check your hip alignment. You want your hips in one line. You have four, three, two. Good, bend the knee, hold it here. Pulse it up for eight, seven, five, And one, extend long and hold it here. Just breathe. Pulse it up for eight, seven, four, two. Lift.
lift and tap, lift, tap. Four more, four, three, two, woo, last one. Find your tabletop, just go side to side. Good, let's all together take an inhale, drop the belly, look up, cow pose. On your exhale, round through your spine, knees to your belly. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round the spine. One more move, guys. Keep your shoulders stacked on top of your wrists. Curl your toes under, find a high plank. Option to stay here, or if you need to come to your elbows, come to your elbows. We're just gonna hold it here, feel your breath. Squeeze your core, breathe. Good, we're gonna roll forward and back. Forward, back, four, three, two, one. Just hold, feel your breath, feel your body shaking. That's you getting stronger. Just breathe through it. Don't worry guys, I'm timing us. We're almost there. Power plank. One whole minute of devotion to your strength. Hold, hold, hold. For five, four, three, two, downward dog, hips to the sky, you guys, so good. <sighs> Big sigh out. Take your right leg to the sky. Right foot between your hands to drop your left knee. Find a runner's lunge. Option to stay here or rise. Whatever feels the best for your body today. And then slowly start to extend your right leg, flex your toes and fold. Getting a nice good hamstring stretch. Movement is so important for your mind to stay healthy and clear. So make sure every single day you do something that nourishes your soul, your body. Coming back to a runner's lunge. That doesn't mean it has to be really active or intense. It's just movement. Going for a light, a nice light walk. Walk your hands forward. Now toe your right foot to the left side. Find a half pigeon. And maybe fold forward if it's there for you. Drop your head. And it's good for your mind to switch things up too. Like going for a walk one day, doing yoga, doing a more active, intense exercise, doing something like bar. Switching it up is so good for your brain and it's good for your body's growth. Let's come back, find your downward facing dog, curling your left toes under, hips to the sky. Left foot comes between the hands, drop your right knee, sink deep into a lunge. Feel your breath. Feel your hips open. Breathe for three. Go two. Good. Extend long through your left leg. Flex your toes. Breathe. Good. Coming back into your runner's lunge. Let's walk your left foot over to the right side. Find yourself in a half pigeon. Again, floating yourself forward, getting a nice, good stretch. Right. Take one more breath here. And then roll onto your left hip. Swing both legs around. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Now guys, I know that wasn't a big stretch, so I want you to take some extra time to stretch after this video if you're feeling the need to. It's so good to stretch your muscles out, lengthen them, do that lactic acid moving through your body so that you're not incredibly sore tomorrow. Okay, find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Hands come to heart center, close your eyes. As you inhale, come to that intention you set for yourself at the start of practice. 
as you exhale, let go of any resistance, anything that's holding you back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Crystal McGrath. I love teaching bar and it's an honor to have guided you today. Have an amazing day. Namaste.